हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर प्रीति कृष्णन कंसल्टेंट पेराडोंटिस्ट एफ एम एस डेंटल हॉस्पिटल हैव यू हर्ड दैट गम इन्फेक्शन कैन इंक्रीज द रिस्क ऑफ हार्ट अटैक और स्ट्रोक कैन वर्स इन डायबिटीज और बी एसोसिएटेड विद आर्थराइटिस दिस इज नॉट ऑल अ हाइप इन फैक्ट इट इज बैक्ड बाई स्ट्रॉन्ग रिसर्च एंड साइंटिफिक एविडेंस poor oral health due to gum infections can affect your overall health in two ways one due to the difficulty in chewing properly there will be poor nutrition two due to common disease processes gum infections can further compound the complications associated with diabetes heart diseases respiratory infections arthritis osteoporosis even be associated with adverse complications during pregnancy this means that awareness and prompt treatment for gum infections is critical to your health in more ways than one what are gum diseases gum diseases or as we call them periodontal diseases are basically microbial infections with multifaceted risk factors that weaken the tissues supporting your tooth this bracket category consists of two types of infections gingivitis which is the reversible phase of your gum disease and periodontitis which is the advanced irreversible phase of gum disease what causes gum diseases poor oral hygiene maintenance will lead to plaque and calculus build up around teeth this sets the stage for gum infections which gradually progresses to extend beyond your gums into the bone additionally there are many patient related risk factors that can worsen this infection like smoking uncontrolled diabetes any infection that compromises your immunity psychological stress genetic makeup to name a few remember it is important to include control and reduction of as many risk factors as possible to make your treatment successful What are the clinical features you would observe if suffering from gum infection? In the initial stages there would be redness of gums, swelling, bleeding from gums, bad breath. This is a stage where the infection is still restricted to the gums and is called gingivitis. As the infection progresses, pockets begin to form around teeth and the bone gets involved. This constitutes what we call periodontitis. If left untreated, it progresses to an advanced stage wherein you will find deep pockets, significant reduction of bone levels around your tooth and receding gums. What are the treatment options available for gum infections? For the initial stages of gingivitis, scaling and root planing, laser disinfection will be advised. For mild to moderate cases of periodontitis, scaling along with laser assisted new attachment procedure or to put it simply laser assisted deep cleaning will be recommended for some moderate and all advanced cases of periodontitis non surgical options alone will no longer be enough damage control will require supplementation with surgical options this is called flap surgery what is a periodontal flap surgery Put in simple terms, flap surgery is a surgical procedure wherein a section of the gums are lifted away from your teeth to give access and better visibility for underlying bone and roots to aid in eliminating all infection. What are the aims of flap surgery? If your periodontist has recommended flap surgery as the suitable treatment choice for you, this means One, there is need to gain access to parts of the tooth below the gum line which cannot be accessed by scaling alone. Two, to clear all the underlying debris that will resolve your infection. Three, to reduce the deep pockets around teeth to shallow areas which could be manageable by you in future. And fourth, in some cases, to grow or regenerate bone using bone grafts and other materials. Let's now discuss what the flap surgery procedure involves and some commonly asked queries we face with regards to flap surgery can i get a flap surgery done on my first visit to the dental clinic no flap surgery always requires to be preceded by one or two rounds of deep cleaning 
This is done to ensure that the status of your gums has improved and it is better equipped to withstand the surgical handling. Additionally, depending on your medical condition, some patients may be advised additional investigations. This will help us to tailor the surgical procedure according to your individual needs. What can I expect during the surgery? So, first and foremost, pain control will be achieved with local anesthesia. This makes sure that you are comfortable throughout the procedure. Remember, flap surgery does not need to be painful. Then, with precise cuts, the gums are lifted away so that we are able to visualize the target areas. Next would be the most critical step of flap surgery, which is thorough cleaning, debridement of the root surfaces, which is aided further by laser disinfection. In this, we use the light of the laser beam to remove any residual bacteria in the gums to disinfect the roots. In fact, lasers also have a positive effect on cellular activity, ensuring that your healing is quick, uneventful and with less post-operative pain. In some cases, depending upon the bone morphology and the shape of bone loss, we may need to regenerate or regrow bone using bone grafts, membranes and other biologic materials. In fact, we have another video describing in detail the uses and benefits of bone grafts to help you understand this procedure better. Finally, the procedure ends when we stitch the gums back to their original position. In some cases, a pack or a periodontal dressing may be applied. What are the immediate post-operative instructions to be followed? Let's have a look at some of the immediate changes you may observe and instructions to be followed for the same. Mild pain, discomfort, some swelling can be expected for the first three to four days after flap surgery. Do not get alarmed. This is a part of your body's healing process and can be easily managed with antibiotics, painkillers, anti-inflammatory agents which will be prescribed to you by your periodontist for 3 to 5 days after the surgery. Some restrictions would be there on your dietary pattern such as consumption of soft foods, avoiding very hot beverages or foods for the first 24 hours, reduction in consumption of hard foodstuffs. For the first week, there will also be a change in the brushing technique to be followed which will be specified by your periodontist. 24 hours after the procedure, frequent rinsing with warm salt water is recommended to keep the surgical area clean. A follow-up visit will be scheduled 7 to 10 days after your flap surgery for removal of stitches. Are stitches compulsory in flap surgery? Yes. If flap surgery has been recommended, even with use of lasers, suturing or stitching of your gums is compulsory. This is done to close back the gums that were opened, ensuring that healing occurs quickly and with as less pain as possible. Remember, stitching or suturing of gums is not a painful procedure. It is not associated with any additional problems during healing. And removal of stitches is in fact an easy, painless and not time-consuming procedure. Will flap surgery require admission or stay in the hospital? No, flap surgery does not require pre or post procedure admission. It is done under local anesthesia, can be completed in a few hours and is absolutely like a regular OPD procedure. With local anesthesia, we are able to obtain pain control for you, but at the same time, you will remain conscious, aware and awake all the time. Will flap surgery be very painful to deal with afterwards? Extreme or severe pain following flap surgery is rarely encountered. As we discussed, mild pain, discomfort, some swelling can be expected, can be managed. In fact, you can go about with your day-to-day -day activities avoiding overexertion. What are some of the delayed changes observed post-flap surgery? So a few weeks after stitches removal, some changes may be visible. Firstly, in cases of severe infection where bone levels have reduced a lot, roots get exposed. This can lead to post-procedure sensitivity. 
do not worry because this is just a transient effect which will gradually reduce in a few weeks and can be taken care of with desensitizing agents like gels, toothpastes, mouthwashes and so on. Secondly, before treatment, you will notice swollen gums that give a feeling of fullness between teeth. As the treatment progresses, gums shrink because inflammation in them reduces. Deposits in between teeth are clear. So this can give the apparent feeling of gaps between teeth. Please rest assured that flap surgery does not change the position of a tooth or create gaps between teeth. Thirdly, as the gums shrink, mild recession of 0.5 to 1 mm may be visible around teeth. This is a routine part of the healing process. Remember, all these effects that may be seen 2 to 3 weeks after the flap surgery procedure are common. When we evaluate on a risk versus benefit scale, it is always better to have healthy gums even at a slightly reduced level rather than diseased, swollen or infected comes. What are the oral hygiene instructions I need to follow for maintenance at home after flap surgery? After removal of stitches, some detailed instructions will be given to you by your periodontist. Specific brushing techniques to ensure less damage to your tooth and gums, tongue cleaning, use of interdental aids like brushes, floss, water flosser to restrict food lodgement between teeth, gum massage, frequent rinsing are some of the instructions that will help you retain the benefits obtained with flap surgery. Does flap surgery procedure need to be repeated? Further course of action with regard to your treatment will largely depend on how well you are able to maintain oral hygiene at home, how well you comply with the instructions given by your periodontist and how rigorously you maintain the follow-up appointment schedule. If good oral hygiene has been maintained and you strictly adhere to your follow-up evaluation visits, get regular cleaning done once every four to six months or as specified by your periodontist, flap surgery is not a procedure that needs to be repeated. In conclusion, gum diseases are preventable and easily remediable. If your periodontist suggests flap surgery as the most suitable treatment choice for you, do not get alarmed. Do not go into a state of panic. Rather, look at it as an aggressive approach that will rid you of all the infection which ultimately will prolong the life of your teeth, can keep any other medical conditions if present under control and on a larger scale improve the overall quality of your life.